Hey everyone, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 as Cyprus, Southern Cyprus, uh, Count of Nicosia. And in between episodes, I actually went forward a couple days. That was on. I, I didn't mean to do that, just the game actually kept running I, and I didn't notice. But uh, I've decided, you know what, I actually want my son to marry now. We need them kids, and so we should start young. He's 18 now, and I've decided to just go with Eudoxia. I've uh, hovered over her several times. Uh, she's just a courtier, um, but she is hale. Um, so, yeah, she is fit and sound of body, so potentially. Um, this doesn't actually give a fertility boost, but you could think so. And, um, yeah, she's Greek, she's Orthodox. There's not really anything uh, more about her. Um, we will lose a little bit of prestige, but that, you know, is kind of what's going to happen anyways. And uh, so I think this is going to be okay. She is uh, 24, so a little bit older, but I think that's going to be fine. And, um, yeah, let's see let's see what happens. Okay, so this guy, Kiberoit, oh, which is like right here. Okay, so she's, yeah, she's from the province, basically. Um, he has agreed to the marriage. Awesome. So yeah, a son has married, and I think that might be time for, well, I would say a feast, but we're so broke, we cannot afford that. Um, we do, oh yeah, we're currently rebuilding our army here, which is costing us a little bit of money, um, as well as our levies. Yeah, we got absolutely smashed, so that was a bit of an issue, um, and we, yeah, you're now losing. I mean, you could have helped me. If you had not run, um then this would have been a better position. But yeah, we've got um, overtaxation, and so now bandits are causing problems because of our steward. Now, I think this is very bad. Our steward, look at this. He's actually average. Why do we keep getting bad events? It's kind of upsetting me. But yeah, anyway, we only got three issues. We're still not endorsed by the realm priest. Can't really do anything about that. Um, what I am planning to do, we have a free holding slot here, and um, I, well, I, I'm forced to build a temple here, but I don't have the money. I, like, I'm not even close. Uh, luckily, we got rid of this, these bandits again. That's awesome. But yeah, I definitely want to build a bishopric here as soon as I can, and then, obviously, I want to upgrade our uh, castle, um, our main holding to a keep as well, because that helps with the... Um, the levies and garrison significantly as you can see uh, but we can also um we can also obviously build uh buildings and we can even build a duchy building as you can see marches uh military academy siege works royal armories like there's a lot of cool things jousting crown uh, jousting grounds there you go um wow this is actually very cool blacksmiths Ooh, there's some really cool things that we can do here. Tax offices even. Alright, we'll see. But we don't have the money for that at the moment. Uh, Trusty Stallion. A renowned trainer has approached me after hearing rumors of my mighty stallion Bucephalus and offers his services. All I ask in return is a small compensation. He needs to be stronger. Uh, to move more swiftly is something he needs to learn. He needs to work on his endurance. But there's one thing lacking is his fierceness. Now, I, I think this stallion is fierce and strong. Maybe swift, but I think the endurance. This is usually something that those horses lack. So um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna invest in our horse here, obviously. Okay, now Bucephalus took to his training well, and results could be seen instantly. That was money well spent. Well, I'm not so sure, but oh hello, Crusader Kings! Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse, and their routes are fraught with danger. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness Pope Nicholas has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joined Christian forces. The theological ramifications of this news are already being discussed by the Archimanical Patriarch and other notable members of our clergy who are eager to follow the example of the Catholics and begin a new age of religious warfare in the name of Orthodoxy. Okay, we have now access to Crusades. This is very early. This is very early, 875. So I assume the Umayyads have taken France? No, not at all. In fact, they're on the retreat. Um, actually, well, maybe that's not entirely correct. Hmm, West Francia and Asturias are currently fighting the Umayyads. Uh, but they are losing, granted. Now... I'm confused why the Crusades have started this early, but hey, if that's 
If maybe there's a crusade call for Cyprus, I wouldn't mind. An unworthy challenge. At first I thought the simple footman a fool for stepping onto the training field. Although Joseph seemed no threat at first, it quickly became clear that he would be unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes from hurting me. Disarming him suddenly became a matter of life and death. I tried not to show my relief when his sword finally hit the ground. Joseph Gregoras. Oh, he seems like, um... Oh wow, yeah, he's actually an excellent fighter. I could use more people like you. He could join our court. Um, we gained some stress because we were vengeful because he attacked us. This peasant and my soldiers will get a lecture on honor. I strike him down where he stands. Now, let me quickly check out our character here. We could use people like him, but then again, he just attacked us. Um, we are gallant. True nobility comes not only from one's blood, but from actions tempered by a spirit like gleaming steel. Hmm. I think... Yeah, we're slow to forget a slight. Huh, interesting. So, I'm not quite sure what happened here. Did he just, like, come running at us? Or did he actually demand a duel? Because that's a very big difference here. Um... He stepped onto the training field. Okay, to be fair, he stepped onto the training field. How is that an insult? I don't quite see that. So I think we're actually going to get some stress here because I don't really want to strike him down since he actually seems to be uh, relatively good. And he's not just a simple peasant. I mean, it's an obscure house, but he is noble. So you know what? I think I could use more people than you. Uh, I think we have some respect for fighters, right? I, I would say so. So yeah, let's go for, let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, but um, interestingly, like I always liked role playing, and in CK three you actually get rewarded for that. Um, well, in a way, because your characters don't accumulate stress as much, and stress can uh, lead to a you know sudden death. And so um, uh, we'll check that out in a second. And so, yeah, obviously, you kind of want to play to your traits at least sometimes because um, otherwise, well, things are just not going to go very well. You're not going to be able to play your character that long. Um, but yeah, so apparently uh, this guy died uh, from internal injuries. And so his son has taken over. Yep. And uh, my daughter is now a duchess. Now, this is interesting. Look at our splendor here. Um we are a count, but our daughter is actually of higher rank than we are because she is a duchess by marriage. So we're now gaining a lot more renown uh, per month. That is very cool. And we still have that alliance, obviously. And we have, yeah, we've joined the war once more. Awesome. Oh, well, we actually didn't join the war once more, but you, you know what I'm saying. Actually, no, this is the war. Oh, we're winning this one against uh, the Sicilians. And we're slowly winning this one against Kazaria? Seems to be. Maybe I can uh, recruit more troops as well. Hmm. We have these light footmen. And we won the war against Muhammad the, the second. That's good. So what is he going to do with these lands? Oh, he only took one province. Interesting. I thought he would take the entire duchy. That's for sure what I thought. Uh, neighboring ruler won a war. Caliph Al-Mutaz. Won a war against Duke in the Holy War for Antioch. Okay. And then Michael has been swayed finally. Oh my goodness. You continue, you continue your efforts. Um, no. I will, uh... I could appoint him as court physician. Interesting. Um, let me quickly check that then. Uh, the court. I can't appoint someone here. This is very strange. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to search once more. But that's so strange. I can appoint him there, but not over, that, over on that menu. Hmm. This world is full of dangers. Alright, yeah, we read that before. Philippa. She's... <coughs> what? A bleeder? Okay. Huh. 
Her sanguine humors are in a hurry to escape her body. Interesting. She's sadistic, lustful, zealous, and Midas touched. She does have high learning skill. And then who we have here, we have Anastasia, an eager reveler, charismatic negotiator. She's deceitful, patient, and cynical. Hmm. I think we're going to go with Philippa, who is quite experienced uh, in this regard. Sure. We'll pick her as our court physician. Oh, and I apparently... How much did I just spend on her? Oh my god. Oh, it must have been 50 gold. God damn it. Okay, yeah, I'm in debt. Okay, now, as our warhorse trudges out of the stable, dragging his legs and hanging his head, there can be no doubt the stallion is sick. The stable master assures me there is a cure to be found for what ails him, but it comes at a hefty price. Oh no. Seems to trust you less, though. Where can I see my horse? Where can I see the connections to my horse? Relationships? Lovers? Wards? It says one. Where's my horse? Rivals? No, vassals. Hmm. I'm gonna pay for my horse, but yeah, we're in series debt right now. I need some money. And this war definitely doesn't help <laughs> the war we're in right now. Okay, we're almost distinguished. Well, I don't know how much longer it's going to take. Maybe some more time. I need cash. I think this is going to be very bad. You are in debt. We cannot declare war. We cannot reinforce men at arms. County corruption spreads... And uh, disband your armies, reduce the size of your men at arms regiments. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. We just spent like, so much money to build that up. I'm not going to get rid of it right now. We will get out of this. Um, it's just going to take some time. But yeah, can I get this scheme to uh, stop? I will abandon this. Yep. I, I, we swayed him sufficiently. I don't like this guy. Okay, so there is a challenge. And... Um, I'm sorry with one of my soldiers, sweat beating on my forehead when I experience the uncanny sensation of being watched. Okay, we've had this before. This is a... Oh, this is... Oh, this is Joseph again. Okay, so this time, this is a... This is another challenge. He's trying once more to fight us. Uh, sure. We'll accept. And the upper hand. We defeated him once again. I will show him not to challenge me again. Now, okay. We can wound him. Dishonorable duelist. Hmm. I don't think we're going to be dishonorable in this regard. But I definitely need... I definitely need to keep this guy in, in, in mind. What can I do about him? I might just imprison him. Hmm. It's tyrannical, though. Is that nothing I can do on this guy? Like, seriously... Point as cool. I don't want that. Hmm. I just want to replace this dude. Seriously. I don't know what to do about him though. <laughs> At least he's hopefully off our back now. Palermo has given rise to populists. Okay. Well, it was just recently conquered, so it sort of makes sense. They do not like Byzantine rule. But they will get used to it. I'm sure. Still con confused why... The uh, Basileas would only go for one single county as opposed to, you know, more. Lotharingian claim on the king of East Francia. How are we involved in this? Uh, okay, Lotharingia is allied to the Byzantine Empire. That seems interesting. Okay. Oh, look at Bavaria as well. I guess they are... Yeah, they're okay. They're kings of East Francia as well. Hmm. And Asturias is still fighting West Francia? Oh, right, you're still embroiled the, uh, with the Umayyad Sultanate. Okay, and sinful bishop exposed. Okay, that was not our bishop. Levy leaves farmland empty. Unused farmland. Okay, our is having an issue, but he is also underfunded. Um, so, I get that. Now, we have an available perk, a man's home. Controlled territory defender advantage. Increased... Control, control in county. 
I think we have enough control here, don't we? Yeah, we have 100 control, so we don't need that right now. Let's get, get a man's home. If we get attacked, we can defend. Um, the High King is now the target for this Holy War. Okay, so I guess the, the previous Kagan died. The High Chieftain. He's Jewish. Now this dude, he was Taltoism. Hmm, interesting. So he's actually Jewish. Look at that. And he seems to be winning this war. Well, I mean, I can't really help you. Sorry. I tried, and I got destroyed. I mean, I like, at most, I have, what, 328 soldiers. <laughs> so, yeah. And I can only create one more regiment here. Like, I can really only get 100 more men. That's it. That's all I can really offer. But uh, luckily, we are almost out of debt, which is uh, good. Not right for liege. Hmm. Okay, white peace on that one. I'm not sure if I got something for this. Potentially I did. Far from home. A stranger's brought before me. Okay, she has been waiting outside my castle gates for a week, my liege. The woman bows deeply. My name is Habiba, your highness. I have traveled far and wide and seen many things, but I am very... I am wary of the road. If you allow me to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. Okay, an unyielding defender, misguided warrior. She's shy, gluttonous, and a craven. Do I need a shy craven that is going to eat like everything? No, I, I don't, I don't see why I would embrace God and this will be your home. Hmm, I don't really see why I would invite her into my home. I don't, like, she has no skill that I could use, and I'm not a particularly generous person, so, no. Go away. And a hook on this dude has ex- Oh, th these can expire, apparently. Well, let's quickly check our hooks, then. We can blackmail again. I guess. Let's see. There we go. So what can I what can I get from that? Request a claim. Yeah, none of this really helps me. I don't think I really have much from that, to be honest. This guy still has that hook on me, which is very annoying. So I can't really do anything against him. I feel like excessive terex, uh, tariffs. A smuggling ring has now. Oh my god, has now appeared. Smugglers and unused farmland. This is bad. Heresy in Sardinia. Archon Jubilana of Sardinia has announced to the world that he and his vassals have converted to Lollardy, having become disillusioned with the teachings of the Orthodox priests. The nobles of Sardinia no longer consider the clergy to be righteous and true. As Lollards, they believe their new faith properly aligns with the will of God, and they are distancing themselves from their former religious institutions. What twisted mockery of our faith is this? Interesting. You know, they do have some good points. Um, you convert to Lollardy. No, I don't think I will. But interesting option that you can just do that. So let's quickly check the religious map mode here. Okay. Lollards. Ruler embraces heresy. Count Constantinus. Isn't that the Syracuse guy? Man, this is a freaking issue with this man. And Duke Tiberius. Um, that's this one over there. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. For sure. I, there's no reason. Count Leon. Wow, there's actually a couple of them that embrace it. I'm actually surprised. I would not have expected that. We can invite new people here again. I can make the uh, I can make my liege more happy with me. Okay, we got rid of the smuggling ring. That's that's very nice. All right, so something we're, we're slowly getting rid of this, and maybe we can start using some farmland. Okay, an independence faction has been created, and we have just gained one level of fame. Oh, that's over this one. Okay, we are now distinguished, apparently. Our glory is widely known. I don't know about that, but uh, hey, that's that's awesome. 
we have, I guess, ruled for long enough so that people recognize us. Um, I think we're like a, we're like a big thing here in uh, Cyprus. Uh, beyond that, people probably don't care too much. But hey, this is some good news that we can end on. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.